All right, guys, today I got some new guards from my guy, Marty Blinds. All right, so like I said, I got some guards from Marty Blinds. He's another YouTube barber. If you guys are not subscribed to him, definitely go check his channel out. I mentioned it in one of my last videos when I unboxed one of these guard sets. And guys, I made an Instagram reel and I got some comments on it wanting me to do a review, actually test them out on the clippers and show it in the review. I've heard a little bit about, maybe a little bit of a rattling noise. If your clippers are set a certain way, they will rattle. These are kind of a hard plastic, so a little bit different material than your traditional wall premium guards. So we're gonna test them out in this video. I'm gonna show you guys all the different colorways that I have. We're gonna try the ones that I've been using out on different clippers. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like on my clippers. We're also gonna test them out to see if they rattle. We'll do a haircut with them and make sure that they follow all the same steps. You guys know I use all the same steps every haircut, so we'll really be able to know if they're accurate or not. And just kind of get an overview on how solid these guards are. All right guys, so this is the set that he sent for me. These are the smokes. You guys can see they are just all black. So guys, the set is gonna come with half one, one and a half, two, three, four, six, eight. So if you guys have seen this standard wall guard holder, it actually goes from one through eight. We have to get rid of two guards. I don't know about you guys, but I would much rather get rid of the, what did I say, six and eight. So we have the five and seven missing, but we have the half and the one and a half. So I would much rather have the half and the one and a half. I don't really use any guards up from about a five, sometimes maybe a five or a six here and there, but we're gonna be able to get the job done with with the guards that are in this. And you guys can see, these are pretty much identical to the wall premiums. There is the half, there's the one, one and a half, and so on and so forth. And like I said, guys, we do have the two, three, four, six, and eight. So basically a full guard set, guys. I think these go for around 25 bucks, maybe 30 bucks on his website, martyblends.com. If you guys wanna check them out, these are the smokes. He did also send me a couple other sets that I blessed a couple of my guys with. Guys, these are the bubble gum, I believe. You guys can see they're kind of a bubble gum pink. We're gonna check these out on JT's Pink Rebel here in a minute. We also got the ice, I believe these are called, guys, just a ice blue kind of, again, a see-through blue color. And we also got the grape, guys. I believe that's what these are called. I see them on his Instagram. That's the only reason I know the names. But I believe these are called grape. You guys can see they are purple like a grape. Actually, grapes aren't even really this purple, but we're gonna call it grape. You guys know everything that's purple is grape flavored. So if you guys didn't see my IG reel, I had to bless my man Cuts by Coast with these because he does have the purple Frank the Barber FX Clipper and FX Trimmer. So these look super dope on there. But I will show you guys all of these on a couple clippers just so you guys can check them out. So like I said, guys, if you wanna check them out, go to martyblends.com. That's blends with a Z. You guys can grab them for yourself. He has some other colors as well. I know there's an orange. I do have the green. Let me find it. I do have the tomb green right here. You guys can see kind of a bright lime green. I believe he may even do a mixed set, kind of like my color guards that I use for YouTube. That's just a mixture of all of these colors. But I'm gonna do some close-ups so you guys can see these on the clipper, check them out up close, see what they sound like, make sure they don't rattle, and then we'll do a haircut here in a little bit and see how they perform. All right, so I was about to do the cut and UPS walked in with another box from Marty. So we're about to see what's in here. Kind of a coincidence I'm recording this video today. First off, guys, we got a whole bunch of these clear Marty Blends brushes. Sorry if I'm messing with the mic. And a couple guards says, guys, this one says Halloween one of one. One of one, guys, you see orange, black, purple alternating. Same guards as the other ones. Check them things out, man, them things are pretty sharp. A little uh, Halloween theme. Ooh, you guys are gonna like this. Skittles one of one. Can you guys guess what these look like? So we might have to update the color guard system. Ooh, we got some different color guards you guys can see, especially a rainbow. I'll have to update the color guard system. After we do this video, if these guards are any good, I'll update it, and maybe I'll start using these in the videos. All right, guys, so I'm gonna throw these guards on a couple clippers for you. We got the F. The mic is here, so it might not be focused, but I want you guys to hear it. So here's a one guard. These are the black ones. So that's closed. Open. No rattling. I'm gonna try a couple more here. There's a one and a half. Closed. Open. Nothing. Look at all the comments on my reel. 
about these rattling guys. So if they're rattling, I think your Clippers are just a little bit too close. So here's my boosted. You guys know this will take the ball guideline out. So we're going to try. Here's the color guards on the boosted. All the way close. No issues here. Half guard. Nothing. So I would just recommend, guys, if you have these and they rattle and you don't like that, just to adjust your Clippers. You can hear we got no problems over here. So let's do a haircut with these. Make sure that they work in the system that I use. You guys know I always do the same steps. So these will either work with my steps or not work with my steps. Do a little taper with them and see how they work out. All right, guys, so we got my man Eli. I was going to go ahead and have all the steps without guards, but of course, guys, I always do my open section first. Just knock this out on him real quick. I want to test these guards out. Make sure that they follow my, my same steps. I have grabbed guards before, just like using a different clipper gone through my steps and they didn't quite work out how I usually have them and that's you guys see me get a clipper with like a fade blade and it'll throw me off a little bit same idea if your guards are slightly different it can do the same thing so let's see there's our open section so we're gonna go ahead and use the color guards this is the one like I said guys same steps as always one open and we'll start to work that line out from the bottom and I did already cut the size down to a three, so we're blending into a three. So there's our line at the bottom. We'll take the clipper close, halfway up into this section. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the, the guards actually kind of accentuate the crunch sound because of the plastic. The hard plastic kind of makes that crunch sound even better. So close one up into it. Now we'll take the half. Halfway open between those sections. Close it up a little bit at the bottom. And that's a three, so we'll go straight to our two. Use our two close. We're gonna flick right into the three. I don't really wanna leave a line, so just going right into the three. everything in the back after this. So you can see we have one line left. One and a half halfway open should be the sweet spot right here to take this line out. If we need to go back to the one, we can. You guys can see, it looks like the steps will be the same. Now these are pretty much exactly the wall premium guards, so I pretty much expected it to operate the same, but you never know. You never know where these were manufactured and how accurate they were and things like that, so. Let's see, we still have a little bit of a line. We'll come in with the one open again. Connect all this together. You know, I like to fade my way back down, clean everything up. We still got a little bit of a line down here at the bottom, so we'll close it up. Come in with the half and get this last little hint of a line out right there. I said, guys, looks pretty, looks pretty standard. If anything, the open section, you got a little bit of a tough open section. So if anything, our open section here needs a little more work, but those guards seem to have worked just fine. Boom. All right, guys, that is it for my unboxing and review on these Marty Blends Translucent Premium Guards. That's kind of a tongue twister, guys. The premium guards from Marty Blends, super quality. You guys see he has tons of colorways. If you guys wanna check them out, head to martyblends.com. I'm gonna put it right down there. But kind of the reason I made this video, guys, I had some questions about them rattling on clippers, and my overall consensus on that is that if your clippers are zero gap too close, they're gonna rattle any guards that you guys use. So that's something I've ran into. I have some videos on setting clipper blades if you guys wanna watch that. But if you guys have them set too close, they're gonna rattle anyways. I have no issue with these rattling on any of my clippers. I tried them on the FX. I tried them on the Gamma Boosted. Those are my two main clippers that I use and I had no issue with them rattling. So no concerns over here, guys. I love these guards. They're super cool looking. If you guys have colored clippers like my guys have, my guy cuts by coast with the purple ones. The purple guards look super dope. The pink ones go super cool with the rebel that JT has. And you guys know I got the all black smoke version with my all black clipper setup. So super quality. Like I said, martyblends.com if you guys want to check them out. And you guys leave me a comment down below if you want to see me use these Skittle guards. I'm gonna have to make a new color guide. I took a picture. I'm gonna go home and work on it. If you guys want me to use these, comment up in YouTube videos. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. That's 
it for the video, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Smash that thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you are not. Guys, 70% of my viewers are not subscribed. So, guys, it helps the channel so much. We just hit 50K. Huge milestone. I appreciate all you guys that supported along the way, but I gotta hit that 100K. I got a spot on the wall for that 100K YouTube plaque, and I gotta get that thing. So, if you guys aren't subscribed, man, come on, man. Do me a favor and hit that button. And as always, guys, I appreciate all of you, and I'll catch you next time.